Hello guys, it's Mark Newton from the School of Photography. Now I'm gonna answer in this uh, video, question that I get asked a lot. What one should you use, Lightroom or Photoshop? Or what one is better, a Lightroom or Photoshop? And you know, it's a good question. But in this video, I'm gonna tell you why you really need to work with both of them together if you really want your pictures to look professional. Now you can use one of them. There is one that, I'm not gonna say one that's better than the other one, but there is one that um, if you did just wanna choose one program, there is one that you should choose and I will tell you what one it is and why at the end of this video. But like I said, you really need to be using both of them if you want your images to be professional and stack up really against other professional pictures. And here's why, I'm gonna show you why right now. Let's go into Lightroom. So what I've created here in Lightroom is a collection of images where I have um, created the original RAW file, a Lightroom edit, and a Photoshop edit. We're gonna look at a portrait example, and we're gonna look at an, uh, a landscape example. So here, is the original raw file of a particular image. It's been cropped, that's all it's done. It's basically a copy of this one I'm gonna show you in a minute. So it's been cropped and that's it. So no adjustments has been made to this picture apart from cropping. Now, firstly, before you even do any Lightroom edits, you need Lightroom because you need to import and you need to organize your pictures, right? Otherwise, you're gonna be in, in a disorganized mess. Lightroom really helps you to keep organized and add keywords to your pictures so that you can sort through them if you need to find anything again. And it's a really good image management tool. So that's the first thing why Lightroom is good. And then what you do is you put your global adjustments on via Lightroom. So let's have a look at the Lightroom edit. So this is the original RAW file. And here's the Lightroom edit. Now in this picture, I have quite simply changed the tonal range of it, changed the color and stuff like that, and just done a global edit of this picture. And then we'll come over to the Photoshop edit. And here's the Photoshop edit here. And as you can see, now it's looking like a much more professional looking shot. And we'll go through them again. So that's the Lightroom edit. That's the raw file. And I'll go back again, and then this is the Photoshop edit. So let's zoom in. I'm gonna show you what I've actually done in Photoshop that you can't do in Lightroom to make this shot um, better. So firstly, the obvious one is the skin and the eyes have been manipulated, all right? They've been retouched. Obviously, there's lots of controversy around, you know, retouching models and stuff like that, but, you know, I'm, I'm afraid that if you want your pictures to stack up against professional looking pictures, they're gonna have to be retouched. It really is as simple as that. Now, personally, I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with that because it gives an unrealistic look to women and to men as well. But there we go, that is just what it is. And you know, put something in the comments if you disagree. I don't really know what to say to you, but that's just the way it is, and let's go back to here. So I've done the eyes and I've done the skin. So let's flick between the two pictures. So here you can see that there's a bit of shine there and the skin is a bit rougher. And we go into the Photoshop version again. And we've got nice smooth skin and the eyes are nice and bright and the veins have been taken out of the eyes and stuff like that. If we come down a little bit further to the lips here, you can see that I have painted in, literally painted in, a bit more lipstick to finish, up the, finish off the lips like that. So again, there's the Lightroom edit, and there's the Photoshop edit, and you can see the lips around here where I've added a bit more lipstick in Photoshop. Then I'm gonna come to the dress here, okay? Let's have a look at this. So here you can see there's a bit of fabric to the dress, and in the Photoshop edit, I've taken that fabric away because I didn't like it there and quite frankly the shot looks better without that bit of fabric in it. I'm going to zoom back out again and show you another edit I did and that's these lights in the background. They're blown out in the original shots because it's a bright light and in Photoshop I've added some color to them lights so that they don't look blown out and just a big white blob in the background. 
So the point I'm making here is that you can do loads of things with Lightroom, right? That is undoubtable. But if you wanna do them fine adjustments, if you wanna smooth out skin, if you wanna change the eyes and make them brighter, if you wanna take out blown out areas in your pictures, you're gonna to need to do them adjustments in Photoshop. And that is where you use both of them together. Now I'm gonna show you a landscape photography example of using Lightroom and Photoshop together. But before I do, I wanna to talk to you about the courses that we run over at theschoolofphotography.com. If you wanna learn Lightroom, if you wanna learn Photoshop, if you wanna learn photography or anything photography related, studio lighting, whatever, come over and check us out over at theschooloffotography.com. We are professional teachers. I've been teaching since 2002, taught thousands of people across the world, and I know I can help you out if you're looking to learn photography. So come over there, check us out. Loads of freebies as well, so you can try before you buy. Okay, now let's go and have a look at the landscape uh, version. So this is the one I'm gonna to refer to, and this is the raw file of it, okay? This is actually, it was a bracketed shot, and this is the middle shot. And as you can see, it's quite dull, and you know, that's it really. So here is the Lightroom edit of that shot. Now this is a HDR, which Lightroom is really, really good at. I think Lightroom is much better than Photoshop at merging HDRs to give you more dynamic range in your pictures. Now, HDRs is a whole new tutorial. I've actually got one on it, so you can go and see that. I've put a link to it here. But basically, you merge three pictures together and it gives you a higher dynamic range. So that's what's happened in this shot here. Obviously, I've cropped it. And again, I've done some global edits with the color, the um, tonal range, you know, the shadows, highlights, etc. And here it is here. Now, what I've got in this picture is this massive jetty popping out into the sea and I don't want it there. Now there's no way that Lightroom can get rid of that. You need to use Photoshop. So I exported it into Photoshop and I got rid of it. And here is the Photoshop edit of that. Okay, so here's the Lightroom edit and here's the Photoshop edit. As you can see, the jetty has totally disappeared. And as you can see with this one, the colors are much more vibrant than the Lightroom edit. And that's because I wanted to add a gradient map in Photoshop, then bring it back into Lightroom and boost them colors a bit further in Lightroom. So effectively what I've done with this shot is I've got three raw files, merged them into one HDR, done a global edit on that merge, exported it into Photoshop, got rid of that jetty, added a uh, gradient map, saved it back into Lightroom again as a separate file, and then boosted up the colors again in Lightroom. So I've put another Lightroom edit on top of the Photoshop edit, if that makes sense. And this is the result. Now, if you wasn't using Lightroom and Photoshop together, you would never ever get this result. You would just be stuck with this here, or if you're not doing any post-processing at all, you'd have this here, right? So you can see that using Lightroom and Photoshop together really does have a dramatic effect on your shots and I think makes them look much more professional. And that's why I think that you need to be using them both together. Now, like I said at the beginning, if there was one that you was going to choose and it's totally understandable for photographers and many photographers out there to just choose one because you know it's hard enough to learn one of these programs, let alone two of them. And if it was one that you was going to choose, then by far it would be Lightroom. And the reason for that is that it's your image um, management tool for a start and you can import batches of images, export batches of images, put watermarks on all of your images, and the develop module has got tons and tons of stuff for you to manipulate your pictures. So you can do, you know, 
a lot with Lightroom, and especially all the general stuff. It's just when you want to do your fine manipulations and make things that little bit, you know, better, just that really fine adjustments that you're going to need to learn Photoshop. And that is my opinion and that's my thoughts on the matter. If you've got any other experience or any other thoughts, then please share it in the comments below. You know, we love to hear from you. And also other people, they, they like to hear, you know, other people's thoughts. So it's a really good uh, platform if you like. Stick them in the comments below and have a chat about your experiences. Now, if you've liked this video, please help us out by liking it sharing it with your friends and subscribing to our channel and hitting that bell button. Doing all of them things really does help us out and it enables us to bring you these tutorials and we appreciate every one of you that like and subscribe to our channel. We really thank you for it. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.